Hi friends! Charity here with some simple tips to help you adapt your Simply Loved elementary lesson this week. This lesson is called Jesus Welcomes Children, and the Bible point is Jesus Loves Everyone. Thank you, Jesus! Follow along in your leader guide and let's work our way through the lesson together. I'll give some tips for creating video lessons and ideas for adapting the activities for smaller, physically distanced groups of children at church or in a home church setting. As always, for more general details about how to adapt all Simply Loved lessons for different scenarios, be sure to check out the video adaptation tip video and our distancing health and safety tips video too. Let's start with opening options. If you're creating video lessons for home use, the opening option supplies may not be as readily available in homes, but that's okay. Simply skip opening options for video lessons or deliver enough Chanel wires, paper plates, construction paper, and yarn for families to use for the whole unit. This week though, families could draw emoji faces on paper plates that they find. No extra art supplies needed. If you're adapting these lessons for church or home churches, choose pipe cleaner people and add Chanel wires to supply boxes. But we've been using lots of Chanel wires, so maybe it's time to mix it up and add paper plates, some construction paper, scissors, glue sticks, and markers to individual supply boxes or bags instead. On to sing and play. For video lessons, your playlist will look like this. Be sure to skip the One Thing Remains music video for copyright reasons. If you're leading sing and play in person, simply have kids give an air high five <laughs> instead of a high five during the Let's Get a Little Crazy song. You'll also need to adapt the Bible verse motions this unit just a bit. Rather than giving a friend's shoulder a little squeeze, have kids give themselves a hug. On to Bible discovery. For video lessons, have viewers divide themselves into two groups, the children and the disciples. Tell the children group to sit furthest away from the screen and the disciples to be closest to the screen. When children eventually come close to the screen, you won't be able to actually pat them on the head, but it might be fun to dramatically pretend to give them a little pat. When teaching the Bible discovery in person, designate kids sitting furthest from you as the children and those sitting closest to you as the disciples. Rather than having kids leave their spots and move toward or away from you throughout the story, have the children in the back of the room stand up as you move toward them and give them each an air high five rather than a pat on the head. On to apply it options. For video lessons, choose either option. Pick your favorite. Just be sure to add paper and markers to family supply lists. For in-person gatherings though, I'd suggest explore more. Be sure to add enough construction paper to each child's supply box or bag. For friendship finale, give stickers, read the take it home flyers and have fun. And if you're with kids in person, be sure to place those Bible Memory Buddy stickers and take it home flyers in kids' individual supply bags or boxes ahead of time. But give kids clear directions for when it's time to use them. Friends, it's true. Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Have fun welcoming children and sharing Jesus' love this week. We're